All right, I think we are rolling. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to our weekly live stream. My name is Alicia, and this is the first stream of 2021. Welcome back. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about expressions for the new year. That means I'm going to focus on goals and resolutions, uh, and then we're going to talk about making plans. So that means making plans to achieve your goals. And we're also going to talk about goal deadlines. So by when will you achieve your goal? The grammar points for this lesson I'm going to focus on. The grammar points I'm going to focus on for this lesson are uh, will and going to for making your plans. And for your goal deadlines, I'm going to focus on by and until. So we have a lot to do this week. So as you join, please make sure to hit the like button and share this video so that other people can join today's lesson and find today's practice session. All right, I'm getting everything loaded. So while we wait for other people to join us live, a couple quick announcements as always. First thing first, uh, this banner at the bottom of the screen, uh, free PDF cheat sheets. Uh, I talk about this all the time, but you can find free uh, downloadable printable uh, PDFs that you can use to study vocabulary. This one is uh, school. There's, I know this one's really popular, the business English one. These are vocabulary uh, and ex expressions and questions you can use in a variety of situations. So on the back, you'll see, uh, like in this case, this is the travel one. <laughs> Maybe it's a tough one to use right now. But you can pick up uh, whole conversations. You can find uh, conversational expressions there, plus vocabulary. So check this out from the link below the video on YouTube or above the video if you are watching this on Facebook. You can find this for free. You need your name and an email address to make an account and then you can download these. There are a lot of these, like some I don't have printed out, they're new. <laughs> so please go check them out. You can download all of them for free. That is announcement number one. Announcement number two, as always, if you have questions for me, if like there are a lot of questions, I can't catch them all <laughs> in the live chat. If you have questions for me, you can send them to me for this series. This is a screenshot from the Ask Alicia series, a question and answer series. You can send me your vocabulary, grammar, culture questions, whatever. I'll read it and maybe answer it for this series. So if you want to send me a question, you can send it to me at englishclass101.com slash ask hyphen Alicia. There will be a link in the YouTube description. If you're watching on Facebook, you can find that uh, in the YouTube description there. And also, if you would like to find me on Instagram, you can find that here. There is a link for that in the YouTube description as well. Okay, I think everything is ready now. So I'll say hello to you, YouTube. Hey, YouTube, what's up? Welcome back. Happy New Year, YouTube. Uh, Felipe, Rocio, one of our members. Hi, Marcelo. Hello, everybody. Tran Jiao, hi, welcome. Nelio, hello. Fantastic. I see you. Uh, Facebook. Where are you, Facebook? Where are you, Facebook? Are you alive, Facebook? I'm coming for you. If you're watching uh, for the first time in a while, I am broadcasting <clears throat> from home uh, due to the world situation. Oh, there you are. Great. Facebook is here. Fantastic. Okay. So quickly, I'll say hi to you, Facebook. Hello. Happy New Year. Uh, bank. Oh my gosh. So many comments. Al Al Adalberto. Hello. Lourdes. Hello. Welcome. Thanaporn. Hello. Tang. Morning teacher. Hi. Great. Everybody's here. Let's look at our lesson boards. We have a lot to do. So let's take a look. Boom. This is what we're going to do today. This is today's uh, study topic study topics, rather. Uh, first, we are going to look at basic expressions for the new year. So uh, resolutions and goal expressions. You can send me your resolution live in the chat or send it in a comment later. Second, we're going to practice your plans, talking about your plans. What are you going to do in 2021? We're going to focus on using going to and will. Lastly, we are going to talk about your deadlines. When are you going to finish your goal? When are you going to achieve your goal? We're going to use by and until to practice these. Okay, so with that, let's get started. There are many comments. If you have a question, send it live in the chat. Uh, I will try to answer it, but 
please remember there are many messages, so I may not see yours. Okay, let's get started. Basic expressions. Let's start with basic expressions. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Many people are writing Happy New Year in the chat. Perfect. So Happy New Year. You can use this until about the middle of January, I guess. Usually the first time you see someone, you can use Happy New Year. And then like after mid-January, it sounds a little weird. <laughs> you don't have to say it. You might also see this expression, here's to a good year. This is here is, here is. Here's to a good year is like, it means I hope it's a good year. I hope it's a good year. Here's to is a common way to say like, uh, let's hope together. Here's to something. So you might hear, here's to a other like a celebration. You might hear this expression used. It means like, let's hope together or something. Okay. All right. So let's get to the important stuff here. First, in blue for today's lesson, I have these key questions for you to practice and use. So make sure you remember these questions and ask other people these questions, okay? So first, what's your New Year's resolution? What's your New Year's resolution? Resolution, this means goal. So your New Year's resolution means your goal for the year. It's very common to choose a goal for the year in January. Resolution is the word we use for this type of goal, a new year goal, okay? So let's look at some examples with this pattern. You can send me your resolution in the chat if you're joining live, that'd be cool, okay? So my resolution is to infinitive verb phrase. So here, when I say infinitive verb phrase, I mean a phrase, a goal phrase, that begins with an infinitive verb. So infinitive verb means the base form of the verb, like the dictionary form, yeah? Let's look at some examples here. My resolution, so it's hard to see, my resolution is to start a business. My resolution is to start a business. Start is the infinitive verb, okay? All right, please don't flood the YouTube chat with the same question. Gerunds are not the topic for today's lesson. Send it for Ask Alicia. Thank you. Okay, my resolution is to start a business, okay? So that's one example of a very common New Year's resolution, yeah? Another one, my resolution is to save $10,000. So maybe you have a money-saving goal, yeah? Okay, or... My resolution is to stop eating junk, like to stop eating junk food, okay? So make sure you use this infinitive here, to stop, to save, to start, and so on, okay? Uh, many people are writing about language learning resolution. So Conwell says, my new year, my new year resolution, make sure uh, my new year's apostrophe s, yeah? My New Year's resolution is to learn French, is to learn English with Alicia. Don't forget this to, yeah? To verb. Uh, my New Year's resolution uh, is to make a lot of money, okay? Um, my resolution is to earn some people, let's see, Elbin wrote much money. We can't use much. Uh, we don't use much in positive sentences. Earn a lot of money. Uh, okay, wow, there are many comments coming in. My resolution is to start a new job, Guillerme. Instead of join a new job, start a new job. On Facebook, um, Poovy, my solution is, ah, my solution, oh, is to start to practice English for my test. Make sure, not solution, resolution. There's an R-E at the beginning. Resolution, resolution. Okay, all right. Other ones, there are many ones, there are many comments on Facebook. I'm sorry, I missed a few. Kin said, my resolution is to improve my English skill more. Good, and remember, specific goals are good goals, right? Make it specific. Okay, um, all right, let's look at the next pattern though. This one is, a, is more general. So to answer this question, you can use the word goal. It doesn't have to be resolution. I'll talk about the difference here. Resolution, goal, what's the difference? So resolution, as I said, sounds official, yeah? 
So we use resolution at the beginning of the year, a New Year's resolution. Goal can be used at any time of the year for something you want to achieve, yeah? So you can use this at the beginning of the year also, that's fine. So my goal for the year is to infinitive verb phrase. So you can use this pattern also. Some examples. My goal for the year is to buy a house. Or my goal for the year is to open a store. Or my goal for the year is to run a marathon. So again, you can use my goal for the year or my resolution is something. So these are basic expressions we can use to talk about our resolutions and goals. You can use this pattern any time of year, except, well, just change year to like month or week. Yeah, my goal for the week, my goal for the month, my goal for the summer. You can change year to a different time period. Some more examples are coming in. Ruby says, my New Year's resolution is to improve my English. Good. My New Year's, don't forget this little apostrophe S, New Year's resolution. Um, Saeed says, my resolution is to start building confidence. Good, okay, that's a good one, nice. Um, let's see, my goal for the year is to win a trophy, says Bhavna. Great, great, okay. Excellent. Raquel says, my goal for 2020 is to get my visa to Canada. Don't forget your verb, is to get my visa to Canada. Fantastic. Okay, you guys are doing a great job with that. So we'll stop there for part one and go to part two now. How to express uh, your plans then. So quick break, if you missed it earlier, <laughs> I showed you the free PDFs, the vocabulary and phrases, expressions that you can use uh, to practice your vocabulary, to pick up some new words. So check this out. Uh, I showed you a few of these earlier. If you like music, you can check this one out. It has lots of music vocabulary. Oh, sorry, <laughs> music vocabulary. Uh, if you uh, are feeling optimistic about travel, you can pick this one up too. Um, so there are many different topics for you to check out. You can download all of them for free. So check the link below the video if you're watching on YouTube or above the video if you're watching on Facebook to get this. Okay, fantastic. So. Let's go to part two for today's lesson. Uh, I'll show you today's lesson boards. You can take a screenshot. Are you ready? If you're ready, boom. <laughs> okay, so expressions uh, for the beginning of the year. We just talked about basic expressions. Uh, Happy New Year uh, resolutions. Now we're going to talk about your plan. So uh, we're going to focus on the grammar points will and going to. I'm not going to talk in detail about the two grammar points. I just want to refresh your mind uh, and give you some examples to think about. So let's take a look. Going to and will. The question, the key question for part two here is, what are you going to do in 2021? What are you going to do in 2021? So that means like what steps are you going to take to achieve your goal? Yeah, so the small parts, yeah, like every day or every week or every month. We can use going to and will to express these, yeah? So let's look at some examples and then after, let's talk about the differences between these, okay? First, going to. So you might say, I'm going to write a book. I'm going to write a book or I'm going to study three times a week, or I'm not going to drink alcohol. So many different types of goals, right? Negative, this one is a negative. I'm not going to drink alcohol. So these express a plan we had before the conversation. This is when we use going to, we're sure. That's the, that's the feeling of going to. I've decided this is my plan. I'm 100% sure, okay? Let's compare this to will, will. So for example, I think I'll start a new hobby. I think I'll start a new hobby. Here's will, I think I will, I've reduced it. I'll is I will, I will. I think I'll start a new hobby. Or 
I'll probably go to a language school. I'll probably go to a language school. Or, uh, I don't think I'll watch a lot of TV. I don't think I'll watch a lot of TV. This is the negative. I do not think I will. I do not think I will. Or maybe I probably won't watch a lot of TV. So will is used to express things that we're not 100% sure about. We have not decided yet. We decided in the moment, in the conversation, yeah? So should I use will? Should I use going to? This is a very common question. Remember, will, not 100% sure plan. Decided in the conversation. So, for example, this one, I think I'll start a new hobby. This, I think, is very common with will. It's like saying, I'm not sure, but maybe. I think I'll start a new hobby. This is also very common. I'll probably, I'll probably. Also, one point, I notice many learners don't say this ul sound clearly. Many of my former students said, I probably, I probably. Don't say I probably. Please say, I'll probably, I'll probably. I'll probably do something, okay? Um, good. Again, in the negative, you can use, I don't think I'll watch a lot of TV, or I probably won't to use a won't in that pattern. Then in comparison, going to. <clears throat> we use going to for 100% sure plan. So we've decided, we thought about it before the conversation, we chose the goal, we made the resolution, yeah? 100% sure plans decided before the conversation. So I'm going to write a book. That sounds very confident, yeah? or I'm going to study three times a week, okay? So very sure, very confident plans. All right, I'm going to check some of your examples now. Uh, Madrista on YouTube says, I'm going to give up drinking beer. Nice example sentence, okay? Um, let's see, Bhavna says, I think I'll start a new restaurant. That's a good example sentence too. Um, some other ones, uh, it's very bright here. Um, some others. Can you give the form of will and going to? I'm not sure what that question means. Can you phrase it a different way? Uh, Reina says, I'm going to work out every day. Very nice example. Okay, Orlando says, I'm going to stop smoking cigarettes. I'm going to stop, uh, stop and start. This is, I don't have time to explain this in uh, this point in detail, but for, for the goals and resolutions, stop and start often are followed by a, uh, a, a word that has an ing at the end. Start working or stop smoking or stop drinking. Stop followed by the noun form of that word. So stop smoking cigarettes. Okay? <clears throat> okay. Um, Manuel says, I'm going to study uh, a master's degree. So I'm going to maybe study for a master's degree. Okay. Utam says, I'm going to make a new film. Very, very nice. Okay. Um, other examples, there are many. Lots of people are talking about language learning. Fantastic. Okay, sounds good to me. So will and going to, these you can use to express uh, the smaller steps in your plan. Also, uh, we're going to review this topic next week in more detail. So uh, please join again next week if you want to practice this one some more. Okay, fantastic. So this is part two for today. Uh, I don't see other questions, but I do see many good example sentences, which is super cool. All right, so let's take one more short break and then we'll go to part three, focusing on by and until to talk about your deadline, okay? So if you missed it earlier, I will show you one more time uh, the free stuff that you can download from the link below the video if you're watching on YouTube or above the video, <laughs> if you're watching on Facebook, uh, this one's upside down. You can find free PDFs uh, to help you expand your vocabulary about many different topics. So this one's family and relative, also just meeting people for the first time, some conversational phrases. So check these out. There are many, many different topics 
that you can take a look at. I'm looking for another one here. Uh, sports and exercise. Some of you are talking about working out and uh, like going to the gym in your resolution. So maybe this is a good one to pick up. You can find key vocabulary about the gym here. It's perfect, right? <laughs> so check it out. Uh, find the link below the video or above the video. You need your name and an email address and you can download everything for free. Alrighty, so let's go to part three for today. Also, if you have not, please make sure to like this video and share it so that other people can find today's lesson. That would be super, super cool. Okay, all right, let's go to part three. I'll show you our lesson boards one more time and you can take a picture if you want to. Boom, all right. So we practiced, uh, let's see, in part one, resolutions and goals. In part two, we covered going to and will. And now we're going to talk about our deadlines, how uh, to express uh, when we're going to finish our goal or when we, when we plan to finish our goal. <laughs> so we're going to review using by and until in part three here. So let's take a look. All right. So. When are you going to reach your goal? When are you going to reach your goal? So what's the plan? What's your schedule really? So many of you, for example, write and say, you know, I'm going to improve my English or I'm going to uh, maybe start a new business or whatever. But you have to also give yourself a timeline, right? You have to take steps inside the timeline to do this. So how do we express that? We can use by with a point in time to do that. This expresses a deadline. Let's look at one example. I'm going to write a chapter in my book by the end of January. I'm going to write a chapter in my book by the end of January. Chapter means one part of the book, one part of the book. So by the end of January, here's my by expression, by plus my point in time, the end of January is my point in time. So this means uh, to imagine on a timeline, I start my book now, or I start my chapter in my book now, and I work, 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 and sometime in the period before the end of January, I finish it. The end of January, so January 31st, is my deadline. That's the last possible day. But maybe I'll finish it before. I want to express some action that will finish uh, between today and the end of January. I want to express the deadline for it. I use by to do that, okay? I'm going to write a chapter in my book by the end of January. Another example, I'm going to run five kilometers without stopping by March 1st. I'm going to run five kilometers without stopping by March 1st. March 1st, here's my point in time, yeah? By March 1st. So that means I'm going to practice running. I'm going to do training sessions. I'm going to go to the gym, uh, whatever. So I'm expressing March 1st is my deadline. So this means maybe I will reach this goal. Maybe I'll reach this goal before March 1st. That's okay. That's correct in this sentence. I'm expressing the deadline here with by. I'm going to run five kilometers without stopping by March 1st. Okay. Good. Some of you are writing your example sentences. Fantastic. I'm going to apply for my study visa by January 1st. January 1st, it's already, it's already gone. <laughs> We're what, January 6th or 7th, depending on your time zone now. Next January. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Chosen Win on Facebook says, I'm going to study level one Korean class by the end of February. Okay. Maybe I'm going to take level one Korean class. Mm. All right. Nice. Then. Uh, let's continue. One more example. I'm going to finish my job applications by next week. I'm going to finish my job applications by next week. Here's my time, my point in time, next week. I'm going to finish my job application. So you'll notice 
these are all just basic going to statements, right? I'm going to do something. So your, your plan, your step, plus, by, and a point in time. This expresses uh, your steps, okay? Uh, some other ones, Madrid, Madridista says, I'm going to build my house by March 1st. Nice, okay. Uh, other ones, I'm Gertrude says, I'm going to travel to Canada by July 23rd. Okay, that's very specific. All right, nice, nice. Uh, other ones, um, Ross says, I'm going to kill it by the end of this week. Do you mean like kill it, like do a good job or like some, you have to do something else? I don't know. Okay. Uh, someone said, out says, I'm going to eat pizza next week or maybe by the end of next week. Okay. Is that your goal for the year? No judgment. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's go to until then until. So what's the deal until in this, uh, in this lesson, I'm going to cover, I'm going to talk about using have with until. So we use until in sort of a similar way as by. We use until plus a point in time. You see I have have here. Have until point in time. So let's look at an example. What do I mean here? For example, I have until April to write my thesis. I have until April to write my thesis. So this means that there's some deadline outside me. So my school's deadline in this case, or my professor's deadline, my teacher's deadline. And I want to express the total amount of time I have. I have until April to write my thesis. So yes, this means April is my deadline. I cannot say I, uh, I have by April. Totally incorrect, totally incorrect. You can say, I'm going to write my thesis by April. That is 100% correct. That is totally true. This expression, I have until April, just it shares the total time, the time period you have available. I have until April. Another example, I have until summer to choose my college. I have until summer to choose my college. So again, you are expressing the total time you have. So that means from now until summer. That's It marks the end point of something. One more. I have until tomorrow to study for my test. I have until tomorrow to study for my test. So again, we're expressing a time period inside which we can do something. I have until tomorrow to do something. All right. Uh, I have until May to apply for my study visa. Nice example. Okay. I have until 2020 to spend time with me. Mm, 2020 has finished, so that doesn't make sense. We have to use a future point in time here. I have until uh, maybe next week to spend time alone, for example. All right. Uh, oh, Xiang on Facebook's, uh, I was waiting for my friend until 5 p.m. I was waiting for my friend until 5 p.m. Okay, uh, Chosen Win says, I have until July to study 20 lessons on YouTube. Very nice, very nice. ASD says, I have until June to drink my whiskey. Oh, okay, <laughs> very specific and interesting goal. Okay. Uh, Jantony says, I have until summer to drop my winter shoes. What do you mean drop? Mm, are you going to sell something? We use drop to mean, it's like a cool, like stylish way to say release or launch a new product is to drop something. <laughs> Gonna drop some new shoes. Okay. All right. Very nice example sentences. Nice ones. So we have to finish there because I'm out of time, but I'll show you uh, one more time today's lesson board so you can take a picture uh, and you can review this later. Okay, lesson boards, here we go. Boom. So today we practiced uh, expressions, basic expressions for the new year, resolutions and goal expressions. We talked about using going to and will, and we also talked about using by and until to express our deadlines. Okay, 
So this is today's topic, but next week, some of you are asking, as always, uh, about the next lesson. When is the next lesson? I'm here every week, <laughs> every week for many years. Um, this uh, next lesson will be January 13th, next week, uh, Wednesday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you don't know your local time, please Google it uh, or just set a notification on Facebook or on YouTube. You can do that. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I always share a link and a reminder about the topic. So you can do that. It's in my stories. Check that out. Next week, I will talk about how to talk about your 2021 goals in detail. So that means scheduling and the steps you're going to take. So uh, like today's points about going to and will, we are going to review that. Uh, and we're going to talk about uh, those small steps uh, to achieve your goal. So many of you said you want to uh, improve your language skills. So we'll cover uh, some expressions you can use to describe that next week. So please join me again next week. That would be super, super cool. All right, I will say goodbye for today. So thank you as always for joining me. Good to be back in 2021. Uh, thanks very much for liking and sharing this video and make sure to check the link below the video or above the video to get your free stuff. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Have a good weekend.